Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We thank you, God. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. We lift you up on tonight. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, God, for another day. Thank you, God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All that we have, your hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We bless your name tonight. We honor you tonight. Thank you, God, for one more opportunity to come into your house. Hallelujah. Just to give you praise, just to give you honor, just to hear from you, God, as we come, O oh God, once more, Heavenly Father, to hear what you have in store for us. Lord, we give you thanks for this another opportunity. Thank you, God, for life, for health. Oh God, for your protection, for your healing power. We thank you, God, truly, Heavenly Father. We are mighty grateful and thankful on tonight. Uh, for was it not for your goodness, your mercies, where would we be on tonight? Uh, and so, God, we just want to look to you once more, God, with hearts of gratitude as we seek you once more. In the name of Jesus, what a mighty God we serve. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will cover us once more, God, under your blood. Guide us, O oh great Jehovah, as we journey through these lands of troubles and trials. But, God, we know we serve a great, big, wonderful God always looking out for us always watching over us we serve a great big wonderful god and tonight we thank you tonight we give you praise tonight we give you honor tonight we just want to lift up your name in the name of jesus god we are here one more time in your house in your presence and as we come tonight god we just want to look to you we just want to hear what you have in store for us, God, that we may be strengthened in our walk. We may be strengthened as we go from day to day. For if there is ever a time we need you, it's now. Lord God, in these troublesome times, Heavenly Father, we need you more than ever before. We cannot do it on our own, for we are weak, hallelujah, but you are strong. Therefore, let your strength, O God, be ours as we go from day to day. God, we thank you for your manservant on tonight. We thank you for your touch. We thank you for your move. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you for you are indeed an answering God. And tonight we give you thanks. We pray your continued guiding hand upon him. We pray your continued coverage over him. We pray you continue to lift him up, God. Touch him. Oh, God, continuously his body, his mind. Strengthen him, we pray, in body and in mind. Anoint him afresh each day. Lord God, go before him. Direct his path in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we place him before you. Lord God, we know, Heavenly Father, that you're an answer in God, and you will do as only you can. And we thank you tonight. For indeed, we serve a great, big, wonderful God. Thank you for Elder Russell in our midst on tonight. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your move. Lord, continue to strengthen her. Continue to guide and to keep. Continue to cover her, God, in the name of Jesus. Or bother your mind, O oh God. Continue, Heavenly Father, to strengthen them both. In the name of Jesus. God, we give you thanks. Remember others tonight, God, who are sick, who would like to be here but can't make it because of illness in their bodies. Lord, touch right now, we pray. Heal right now, we pray. Deliver right now, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God, for the healing touch that you have wrought on so many of us. Our God, and we look put the others before you tonight and pray that your touch will be upon them as well. In the name of Jesus, those who are on their way, take them safely, Heavenly Father, out to your house as we come together once more to hear from you. 
Lord God, let your word go forth, O oh God, and touch our hearts on tonight. Touch each and every one of us in this house, God. Help us to be on one accord as we continue to look to you, as we continue to seek you from whence come our help and our strength. God, we thank you tonight. We bless your name tonight. Lord God, as we go forward in this oh, gathering on this night to hear from you, Lord, we just want to say thanks, God, as we come into your house once more. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We plead your blood, we plead your blood, we plead your blood, we plead your blood. The blood, 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 the blood of Jesus. We plead your blood, we plead your blood, we plead your blood. Let your blood prevail. Let your blood saturate this atmosphere on tonight, this sanctuary on tonight. The blood, the blood of Jesus tonight. We plead your blood, we plead your blood. We plead your blood, we plead your blood. Let your blood prevail. Let your blood be applied to our hearts. Lord, your blood we plead. Your blood we plead. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. What a great God, what a great God, what a great God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How can we thank you enough? How can we thank you enough? Oh, glory to your name, glory to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Learning to live. I'm learning to live. I'm learning to live on Jesus. Finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Learning to lean, learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus, learning to lean, I'm learning to lean, I'm learning to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I ever dream. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Yes, I'm learning to lean, learning to lean. I'm learning 
to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus, learning to lean, I'm learning to lean, I'm learning to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I ever dream. I'm lear learning to lean on Jesus. Learning to lean. I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus, one more time, learning to lean, I'm learning to lean, I'm learning to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I ever dream. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. If there is ever a time when we must lean on Jesus, it's now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We're going to be reading from the book of Psalm. Psalm 30, verse 1 to the end. Psalm 30. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, and I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hid thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord. And unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee 
and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I will give thanks unto thee forever. Amen. We will bless him at all times. Amen. Our praise will continually be in our mouth. Hallelujah. Because we are grateful for what he has done for us. Turning our mourning into dancing. Mm, we thank him. Amen. For being the God he is. We thank God for this day. Thank God for this opportunity. Thank him for one more night in his house as we gather to hear from him through his servant as he continue on this most important topic of kingdom living. Thank God for a man's touch upon our servant, our pastor. Amen. And we look forward to hearing from him. Amen. As he come to deliver what God has given has given him for us. Amen. On this topic of kingdom living. Kingdom living. Amen. Amen. He told us, amen, of the necessity of kingdom living. And he told us that kingdom living demands growth, demands nourishment, and it demands Relationship. Amen? Amen. Demands nourishment and relationship. So, amen. We bear those in mind as he develops further on this topic so that we may glean even some more as to how we will be nourished to the point of spiritual strength. Amen. And our relationship will be so strong with the Lord. Amen. That we will be growing. We will have seen growth in our spiritual life. Because kingdom living is about spiritual growth. No growth. No kingdom living really. Because the devil does have us boxing us to and fro. Because we are weak, right? Amen. And we don't, we don't come here. We don't serve God. Amen. In a wishy-washy way. We serve God. We allow God to work in and through us so that we may grow stronger and stronger in him. Amen. So we thank God tonight for another night in the study of his word as we wait to hear something more on this topic of kingdom living. Amen. Because we are kingdom citizens and we live as such and we live in a way that is in alignment with the kingdom rules that is laid on by the king of the kingdom, right? Amen. Very important topic and I'm particularly excited about it. I know you are too. And we, um, we look forward to hearing something more. Amen. Amen. So, learning to lean, learning to lean, I'm learning to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I am. I'm learning. To lean on Jesus, learning to lean, I'm learning to lean, I'm learning to lean on Jesus, finding more power than I am. I'm learning to lean on J. Learning to lean. 
I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Learning to lean, learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Finding more power than I ever dream. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Learning to lean, learning to lean. I'm learning. To lean as we stand everywhere on Jesus, finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning, learning to lean on Jesus. As we welcome and invite our pastor and presiding bishop. Bishop Dr. Lloyd e. Russell, in Jesus' name. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Labure. Learning to lean. Yes, I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Find more power. Than I ever dreamed, I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Oh, I'm learning to lean. Yes, I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean. On G, oh, finding more power than I have ever dreamed. Yes, I'm learning to lean on G. One more time, everybody. Learning to lean. Learning to lean. Yes, I'm learning to lean. Oh, I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Oh, yes, finding more power than I have ever dreamed. I'm learning to lean. On a G. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we bless his name? Can we worship him tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Learning to lean. Learning to lean on Jesus. We bless his name tonight. We honor him and we glorify his name. Amen. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. Yes, you may be seated. Brothers, I'm learning to lean. It's an ongoing process. I'm going to say it again. It's an ongoing process. Learning. To lean on Jesus. So many times, amen, we think we know what's best for us. 
and we are qualified to make, amen, some decisions. We are authorized to do what we have chosen to do because we believe it's in our own best interest. Amen. Forgetting that there is a God, amen, that we should first consult with. Where they say, I'm learning to lean. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we consult, sometimes we don't. But Lord, help me. Am I the only one? Help me, Jesus, to lean on you. Because if I lean on you, I realize I will not mess up. Amen. I will not, amen, have to walk twice. Hello. I want to redo what I might end up redoing. If I would have learned at the very beginning, I mean, to lean on Jesus. There's a way that seemed it right. This is what the Bible says. Unto a man. But the end does not look like the beginning. Amen. The end is messed up. But God help us tonight. Amen. To learn to lean on you. We bless him tonight. We honor him. We worship his name and we adore him. We give him thanks. Amen. For being the God that he is. Amen. I thank him for spending my life. Allow me one more time to come through these doors. Amen. Didn't have to do it. Amen. But he did. Amen. We didn't have to come through because we felt like coming. But we thank God tonight that he's blessed us and we have the mind. Amen. Because we could have stayed home, alive, breathing, walking, talking, but had no desire to be in the house. So it's something to, to give God thanks for. Amen, that we did not, amen, choose to be disobedient or rebellious. But Lord, you're giving the mind, the strength, the help to me in the house. And I'm going to church. Amen, because that's where I'm supposed to be. So Father, we bless you. And we lift up. Him. Good to see you tonight in the house of the Lord. It seemed like a very long time. Amen, amen. It seemed like a very, very long time. But I thank God for tonight. Amen. Amen. It was left up to me. I would have gotten here before. <laughs> yeah. Amen. But I thank God. Amen. That he is a good God. Amen. And that he has blessed us one more time to come before him. And I'm so happy tonight to see you. I don't know if you're happy to see me, but I'm happy to see you. Yeah, I, love to look, I love to be around people. Amen. Amen. You might love to be around me, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be around you. Even sometimes it gets rough and difficult. Amen. I don't mind coming around God's people. Amen. Because coming around God's people helps me. I said helps me. Amen. Because this is what I ought to do. Amen. And it is right in line with what we are dealing with. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I expect you to help me tonight. Amen. Amen. I expect you to push me. Because you're so happy. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody. Let me greet everyone tonight in the name of Jesus. Let me welcome tonight. You that are watching but with the internet. Amen. We welcome. Amen. Canada, Caracol, the Congo, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Amen. Georgia, Tom Tom, Sister Diane Brown, too. Ghana, the Greater Harvard, the Area Grenada, India, Pastor Samuel. God bless you. Amen. I know you'll see me. I'm seeing you too. Amen. Amen. We're going to talk, Pastor Samuel. God bless you. Amen. The Avery Coast Brother George. Amen. Jamaica. We thank God for you who have joined tonight. Pastor, Sister Peter Gay, Pastor Bailey, others tonight that's in Jamaica. Dot, London, England. God bless you. New York, Ocala, Orlando, Petite Martinique, South Carolina. Amen. I know you'll catch it after. Amen. Uganda, Pastor Emmanuel and Pastor Okidi. Amen. We are thanking God for you tonight. And I trust that your hearts will be blessed. Amen. Amen. I came for a blessing. Did you? I came to receive from him. Did you? Amen. And if you came to receive, you will. If you didn't come to receive, then you won't get anything. Amen. Because tell somebody, it's up to you. Tell, tell somebody again, it's up to you. And tell them, you can't stop me from getting what I came for. Tell them. Amen. If I go in the back, I don't care how crowded it is. If I went to withdraw because I need, guess what? I'll become frustrated because I have to wait in a long line. I'm sorry. No, no not you. You have something stashed at home. But you have nothing stashed at home. You know what you're going to do. 
you're going to stand in that line and wait although you're under your breath you're talking some stuff but because you know what you need you, you went to get what you need so you're going to wait until you receive what you receive so i came tonight amen to receive what the lord has got in store for me amen and tell somebody i'm not going home empty Amen. I'm not going home empty. I came to receive. I'm taking something back with me. All right, everybody. Last time we were here, we had very, just very briefly touched on that spiritual growth demands relationship. Remember that? Spiritual growth demands relationship. We're going to say it one more time. Spiritual growth, that was another subheading, demands relationship. I wonder sometimes... We, some of us think we're going. And what do we think we do when we take a certain course? I'm not talking exam now. When I decide that I don't need my brothers and my sister, hello, I am self-sufficient. Hello. And I really don't need you. I can get along without you. Even God. Hello. I don't need anybody. And I can develop the way I'm supposed to be developed. I can grow the way that I want to grow. Hello. I can advance where I want to advance. All by myself. Look at them and tell them that's a lie. Tell them. Look at them and say that's a lie. We were never ever created to stand alone. Not in God's kingdom. Hello somebody. Amen. Not in the kingdom that he's a king of. And where we are subjects. In that kingdom. We were created to be what? Help me. Interdependent. I need you. And you need me even when you don't like me. Even when I don't like you. Tell somebody you better learn to put up with me. Tell them. Hello. Even when I get on your nerve. Even when you get on my nerve. I've got to learn to put up with you. And you put up with me. If not, I'll be coming up short. Likewise, you. Amen. You cannot develop the way you ought to. Amen. By you being isolated. Hello. I'm going to put myself over my little corner. I'm going to stay right there. Hello. Thank you, sir. Bad spot to be. Because you got to feel something pushing against you. That want to push you to do certain things. But because of who you are. And the kingdom that you're in. You can't do it. Tell somebody you can't do it. Thank you Jesus. Every one of us want to react a certain way at some point. I wish to God you'd speak the truth. Let me say it again. Every one of us want to react a certain way. I have more spell. That does not bring glory to his name. We're not, don't try to fool nobody. Stop it. You're not that safe. Hello. You're not going to hit me tonight. You should be happy to hear my voice. You're not that anointed. That you don't want to tell me a thing or two. Come on. I'm sorry. I guess Adam is not your forefather. Hello somebody. To act otherwise we'll be lying to ourselves. Every, every one of us at some point. Are pushed to do some stuff. And to say some stuff. That does not measure up to the kingdom that we are in. Hallelujah. Want us to act a certain way. Act like our daddy. 
Come on. You have not forgotten how to be fresh. Excuse me. Amen. You have not forgotten how to tell somebody else. Let me tell you a thing or two. We have not forgotten how to do it. Amen. If God don't stand up by your side, amen. After you don't speak in tongues, you'll just do it. Hello, somebody. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> but it's a fact. We might as well own up to it. Amen. But we need the other person to help us to grow. I need the other person to help me to develop. Hello. Thank you, Jesus, to be able to hold myself back. And don't do like the flesh want me to do. How many times you sat down and said, uh-uh. Hello. You try to be tough for a little bit. But after a while, God began to talk. And he said, I wasn't talking before. You just wasn't listening. I'm going to do it my way. He said, I'm going to do it. Amen. I'm going to satisfy me. How much time you do that? Amen, somebody. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm going to stay right here. I'm not moving. But you know what? I thank God. That when I mistreated him, he didn't stay right here and say, I'm not going any further. Hello, somebody. But he still pursued us. He still came after us. Because he had one desire, is to perfect us. Because we are a part of his what? His kingdom. And you know what he's looking for, who he's looking for in his kingdom. So we have here. Amen. Spiritual growth demands relation. It demands it. It demands it. I said it. Again. It demands it. No if ands or but. Thank you. You're not going to get along too well with people. What's wrong with you? Something wrong with you. It's not the people. It's you. I'm going to say it again. Because you think you're saying something good. When you say, you know, I don't get along well with people. You know, I can get along with that brother. You're the problem. He's not the brother, it's you. Thank you, Jesus. Is you had that feeling against you. He never had that feeling against you. As a matter of fact, you don't even know your thinking. But you know your thinking. Amen. I cannot tolerate that sister. I can't just when I go around Sister Paul and I just feel creepy. And we are already convinced that she got a problem. Is you feeling like a mess? Because that feeling is not God's. It's right from the pit. Hello, somebody. So I got to be able to take charge of me. And handle me. So I can handle Sister Pauline. Hello. Spiritual growth demands relationship. Thank you, Jesus. And that's relation connecting or binding participants. Connecting or binding participants. Amen. You cannot connect to nothing. Hello? <laughs> I don't care how good this cord is, and it's good. By itself, it's only a piece of cord. Lord, help me. But it was designed to carry certain force, certain energy. To this box. And there's no sound coming from the box until this cord is connected. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. So, guess what? I can never ever be the real me. You better help me up in here tonight. Until 
a, a relationship is developed. Don't let the devil lie to you. Hello, somebody. I know we're good at, at staying by ourselves. Who you helping? Who you hurting? Are you going to help me tonight? Who you helping? Who you hurting? You're hurting yourself. Because you have not yet made a connection that God designed you to make. So you can produce what he's placed in you. And you're going to take somebody to help me to develop that. Amen. It's easy to pull away. Come on now. And we do that as, as what's the reason? Come on. What's the reason? Lord. <laughs> Why do we do it? You're saying you're protecting your safeguard in yourself. But can I say this tonight? Every kingdom citizen have to decide that they're going to become vulnerable. That's a bad word. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Because you've got to be able to face some stuff. And still keep on going forward. Amen. And if I withdraw myself after being hurt, after being talked about, after being ridiculed, I cannot develop the way that God wants me to develop. Hello. Thank you, because maybe I need some patience to help me. Come on now. And go and take some negative stuff. But tell somebody I need it. Lord Jesus. Woo! I said, tell somebody I need it. Because some of you think you don't need it. Stop it. Hello, somebody. You will not know what's in me. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Until you squeeze me. I will not know the color of the toothpaste until some pressure is applied. Hello. Say every one of us. Say every one of us. Say even me. <laughs> Tell him I need some pressure. <laughs> Boy. Need some pressure. We don't think we do. But every one of us, we do need some pressure to be applied. Amen. No student can go to school and expect to graduate without having to sit a test. If you think that way, you're crazy. Hello. I'm just going to show up and I'm just going to four years of college. And I don't have to do one test, one exam. And at the four years, I'm going to walk across the stage. They're going to call my name. I just received my bachelor's. Hello. Which stage that is? And which school that would be? Hello. We have to understand. And we must know. There's got to be a relationship that develops. Like we said that connects. Or binds participants. Amen. And us in this house tonight. And not only tonight. We're going to have to learn that this is going to happen. There's got to be a connecting. And there's got to be a binding. Hello. So hear me. When the benediction is said, don't run. Hello. Tell somebody, don't run. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me. Let me get out of here. Now, oh, yeah, right. 
use the home. Yes, use the home. I want to go home. Hello, somebody. Let me say this tonight. If I'm accustomed to fellowship, what are we talking about? Relationship, right? That's right in there. If I'm accustomed to fellowship, and when the permission is said, I'm heading to the door as quick as I can. It means something has gone wrong. It means there's no connecting. That something has been severed. Glory. I hear it. Not one help. Glory. You know what flesh wants? You know in which direction it's pushing you. But to, to go in that direction, you'll be failing, you'll be messing up. In spite of me being hurt, I still need you. Glory. I'm going to say it again. In spite of being hurt, I still need you. Instead of you being hurt, you still need me. We still need each other. It's God's design. And my decision is not going to alter what God expects. Glory. And we think because we are able to do some things, it alters what God expects. Stay there. You're going to remain as weak like this as a rat. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to draw strength from being connected. Lord, help me. Even if you let me pray some more. Oh, God. Why is it you are reacting like this tonight? It's necessary. Each person in your life is necessary. I will say it again. Each person in your life is necessary for your development, for your growth, for your advancement. We are not going to grow on our terms. Hello. We will not advance based on how we put things together. That's not God's way. Oh, Lord. It's not his way. Whatever is done, it's going to be done his way. In order to get the results you're looking for. Amen. And instead of standing up and fighting, so to speak, you continue being weak. Hello. I have no resistance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. This is what I'm saying. Regardless of what's going on, we still need to be in a relationship. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When I get a man, get in your nerve, pray for me. When you get in my nerve, I'm going to pray for you. Lord, I really want to tell the person so much. I want to hate them. But God, I realize I can't. So I have to pray for him or pray for her. Amen. And if needs be, encourage them too. Hello, somebody. Hello, everybody. Amen. Living for God in his kingdom is not easy. But it has to be done the way he says it ought to be done. And can I say this tonight? Help me, Jesus. In God's kingdom, nobody's better than the other. Oh, help me. Let me just um, moist my lips. What did I just say? In God's kingdom, nobody's better than the other. Sometimes we come with that, that junk up way of thinking. Oh, Lord. I decided I'm better than Del Biuri. I decided, uh, 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 you know, she's not as smart as me. You just how dumb you are to think that way. Hello. Oh, jeez. Thank you, Jesus. But that's the way we think sometimes. Amen. She's not in my league. Which one that is? Because there are only two leagues, God's league and the devil's league. So which one that is? Which group is that? 
Amen. Because God didn't reject, reject none. He didn't put them in a category. And said, that's it. Oh, that's what the publicans. Ha ha. Glory. <laughs> Sister Jackie. <laughs> Mr. Abury, that's what the publican said I did. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. They thought he should not have mixed with the sinners. Because they're the base of society. Hello, somebody. So shouldn't hang around them. Amen. But no, he knew if he had to, if he was going to win them, he had to associate himself. So in God's kingdom. Amen. There's none better than the other. Hallelujah. We are all striving. To make it in. And regardless of the table you sit around. And the family you came out of. It makes no difference. Come on now. Not because I might be able to say a few things more than you. It don't mean I'm better than you. I wish you'll help me. Some people walk around skin up their noses. Because they decide you're not, you're, not, you're not where they are. I wonder where you are. Well, let me move. Huh? What is spiritual growth? Question. Spiritual growth is the meaningful relationships with others. And with a higher power. What we have here? Spiritual growth is the process of developing self-identity. Nurturing meaningful relationships with others and uh, with a higher power. We need to develop this. Self-identity. Hello? That's what relationship does. Is supposed to do in our lives. Amen. Now we should not go around seeking people's approval. Hello. Amen. And let me see if you say what I say. Let me see the thing what I'm thinking. Talk to me. You can't think on your own. Why do you need my opinion? Why do you want to see if I'm saying what you're saying? What have you learned from the relationship? Hear me tonight. Each person going to be different. Because we all have different needs at some point. And my need might not be yours. And yours not be mine at that particular time. So what I extract. Now what you going to extract. And don't explain to extract the same that you extract. Oh, you know we have a problem with that. How did you see it? How did you see it? You heard I love you. you heard say, what do you think? How do you see what he was saying? Shut up. Hello. Why you want to talk back to me somebody? Why I have to come from the love you? What do you have to think about this? Help me Jesus. Self-identity. Hello. Like I said, all of us are at different levels. At any given time. Amen. And I'm going to develop, and we're going to develop at different pace. Hello, somebody. But I still need to be available. I said, need to make myself available for that process to happen. Amen. And I don't sit back and move because you're moving. And I don't move because you don't move. Amen, somebody. It's my personal development when it comes to, to, to the relationship between God and myself. And between myself and my brethren. Amen. Because you can say something and then each person extracts something different. But it's necessary to be said. 
Because everyone, as I said before, at different points in our lives and are looking for something to keep on building, to keep on developing, to keep on growing. Amen. So if I've got to be at the point I'm ready to pull from when it is made available. Thank you, Jesus. So let me read this again. What is spiritual growth? Spiritual growth is the process of developing self-identity, nurturing meaningful relationships with others and or with a higher level. The question is, are someone really able to develop meaningful relationship with others? Hello. That's the question. Are we able to develop Meaningful relationships with others. And the problem is, I'm always seeing uh, the beam in your eye. Are you with me? I'm always seeing your fault. I'm always blaming you. And you see me? Ain't got no problem. And the reason for not being able to bond with you is you. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I've got to be at that place in order to develop that type of relation that caused me to bond with you and you with me. It's so many times here. We don't pick and choose. Hear me now. Who God bring into his kingdom? Boy. Ah. Let me say it again. We don't pick and choose because you said it's up to you. Maybe I wouldn't get in. Maybe you said it was me. Maybe you wouldn't get in. Come on, let's let's be honest. Because we're able to go through and weed out some. Because we declare who we can get along with. Who we can get along with. Hello up in here. Who fit the bill and who don't fit the bill. Amen. Who is good and who is not. Who is just like me. I don't want to be like you. I want to be like Jesus. Don't try to be like me. Hello, <laughs> Lord, I can feel you helping me. God brings in his kingdom who he chooses. And God brings into the so-called assembly who he pleases. <laughs> look on somebody, tell them I'm here for you. Tell them, look at them. I said, I'm here for you. Woo! <laughs> Have you done it yet? <laughs> you should have talked to somebody. Somebody talked to you. <laughs> God help me. I'm here for you and you're here for me. I hear me today. You cannot develop without me. You should be speaking in tongues on that. And you can develop without me. And I can develop without you. I need you for my development and my growth. Hallelujah. And does that not mean that I'm perfect? Neither are you. But we need each other. Hallelujah. I need your imperfection to help me to be perfect. I wish to God you don't understand that tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't see my imperfection as a stumbling block. It's there to help you because you're going to help me with yours. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Help me God. Help me tonight Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we're looking for perfection. It's not going to happen while we're down here. And when you become imperfect, I'm ready to cut you off because you're imperfect. 
Not in God's book. I know it sounds good. And sounds like a wise thing to do, but uh-uh. No. Hello, somebody. Come and help me tonight. Every imperfection I needed to help me. I have already know I already know that who those who come to do is not perfect. I know that. Hello, somebody. So I expect you to be imperfect in some stuff. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We sing a song that we used to sing back home. If I can help somebody. As I pass along, then my living will not be in vain. Tell somebody, I'm here to help you. Thank you, Jesus. I need your help in order to survive. Thank you, Jesus. Because maybe if you look at me, if you look at me too bad, I'm going to pray some more. Hello? Thank you, Jesus. I don't know who we're looking for. I don't know who we're looking for. I really don't know. In an imperfect world, living amongst imperfect people, we're looking for, to find perfect people. Tell somebody, not yet. They might accept it. Tell them, please be patient with me. Tell them. For God's not true with me yet. But when he gets you with me, I shall come forth as pure gold. But right now, learn to accept me who I am, the way I am. Hello. It's important. I say I'm going to block myself when it comes to my development. Hello, church. Hello, everybody. And But you know, that's why we come to church looking for perfection. We come, to everybody, come in there looking at everybody without any, any schisms or isms. We, I'm coming here to looking for nobody without any faults. So you better don't display any. And words don't let me see it. Because if I ever see imperfection, let me say, Dang, I'm your supper. <laughs> You're dead. You're finished. Come on, talk to me. Hallelujah. I'm still moving on to perfection. I don't get there yet. But one of these days. Tell somebody one of these days. Who you looking for? I will finally arrive at that spot. Hallelujah. So if I mess up, help. Tell somebody if I mess up, help me. And as a matter of fact, not if, but when I mess up, let me change the, let me change the word. When I mess up, help me. Don't push me down. Help to pick me up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We don't look down this unit to let them think we're better than them. We look down to help to pick them up. Let them, don't let them feel that they're less than anything else. And we some of us have got that approach. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. But I thank God God never kill you. When you mess up. I thank God never kill me when I mess up. But he's still working on me. He's still working on you. He's still working on us. To perfect us. And although we've been safe for so long, we still get on God's nerve. We still rub him the wrong way. But I thank God he's loving and patient with me. Ah, help me, Jesus. And there's a word here, nurturing. Nurturing. Hello. Nurturing. It's not one time you deal with it. It's going to take some time to work on and to work with. Hello, somebody. Amen. So don't give up on me. I'm not going to give up on you. Because God didn't give up on us. 
he is him being God is still working. And us being men, then why we want to be so fast? And he's perfect. Hello. And we are both, all of us are imperfect. So it's going to take us a little bit longer time. But because there's a desire to be like him. He said, they decide to comply with the rules and regulations of the kingdom. I don't mind staying in the press. I don't mind going to, although I get the, you know, the, uh, upset sometimes. And yes, I do. Yes, I do. Amen. Amen. Because I associate myself with people. Yeah, they get on my nerves sometimes. I'm speaking the truth. Rub me the wrong way sometimes. Yes. But I can't hate you. I can't love you any less. Hello, somebody. Amen. I got the still got desire to want to see you, you to succeed. Amen. Am I talking to kingdom citizens? Amen. I hope so. We have to take a different approach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to say this tonight. Just come to me. It's almost about condemning spirit. I say condemning spirit. I put down spirit. Hello. But have you ever stopped to think while I'm doing that? It just showed that I'm not measuring up either. Because God would never ever act like that. Come on, talk to me. Amen, amen, everybody. There is a way to approach what we do in order to be of help to a situation or to an individual. Amen. And as I said earlier, amen, to want to separate yourself from you're not helping you. You're just going to extend your period of time in your imperfection and the rut that you're in. Hello. As you're going, extend your period in the rut that you're in. But you have not yet learned how to deal with this. Lord, I can hardly get no help tonight. Should I have to? Tell somebody, I told somebody this past week. That what I experienced... Maybe there's an invitation to extend it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let me move on. Don't ask me who because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> Spiritual growth is at a one-way street. Let, let, let me back up here one minute. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. Six verse. How are we going to do it? Love the Lord. It's there. I can't see it. I don't have anything on my side. So if I do all of that. I'm setting up myself to succeed. I put myself at a place to grow and develop. Amen. Because it is necessary because I realize I can't go through God's kingdom walking around looking to please me. But you know that's where we are. We walk and want, we want to be pleased. I tell somebody, it's not about you. Tell them, look at them. It's not about you. Tell them, it's about God. Say, if you don't get no attention, tell them, if you don't get any attention, tell them, if you don't get any attention, too bad for you. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Is one star in the show. His name is Jesus. It's not Lloyd Russell. It's not Michael Nooks. 
None of us. It's Jesus. The Lord help me tonight. Tell them, look at them. Dead in their face now. Tell them, don't come. Looking for any attention. <laughs> I'm watching some. Some haven't done it yet, and I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Tell someone again. Tell somebody this. Don't come looking for any attention. Lord. Can I tell one more person? <laughs> Hello over there. Hi. Find somebody and talk to. Because we walk in want all focus to be on us. And if I don't get it, I have a problem. Hello. So don't feel like going tonight. I'm just, God, no, I'm just pushing to you. I have to push to come to church tonight. Yeah, you're coming to serve me. Hello. You didn't come to see me. Ooh. You came to see Jesus. I didn't come to see you. I came to see Jesus. And if I don't see you, I will not be disappointed. Lord, help me tonight. So if you're disappointed, I can't help you. Amen. The Bible says, if you walk in the light, why not help me? What, what, what going to happen? We will have fellowship one with another. So the question is, who is in darkness? Hey, talk to me. Which one of us is in darkness? Which of us is not walking in the light? Because walking in the light is not based on your eyes or our understanding. Or what we decide it is. We don't make determination of this. It's God. Amen. So bring your imperfection. Bring it up. Let the light shine on it. Let the light identify it. Hello, somebody. Because it's identified. It can be fixed. You can see where I am. I can see where you are. And I can see where I am. To make the adjustment I need to make. Because the light exposed it. Let me move. Spiritual growth is not a one-way street. There are all sorts of twists and turns and changes in directions. That a person's spiritual journey can take them. Let me read again. Spiritual growth is not a one-way street. There are all sorts of twists and turns and changes in directions that the person's spiritual journey can take them directions that a person's spiritual journey can take them let's be honest tonight there are times we are confused amen the times we don't know which, which end is up Sometimes we don't know if we're looking at a six or a nine. It all depends on where you are. Amen. And our spiritual growth is not one straight line. Hello. 
There might be some turns. Come on now. And that lane is blocked, so you have to get off at that exit. Come on. Amen. Yes, we put in whatever we put in in the GPS. Started at the right spot. But guess what? As you go down the street, it takes a deep detour. Recalculating. Oh, you never see that yet. Hello. That's right. It means what I thought was is not. I thought it going to be a straight shot. But you realize, amen, there's a problem down the street. Although you plan to get there at 10 o'clock, there's going to be a one hour delay. Come on now. You felt good. Everything was in place. Hallelujah. But some hours just was just added to your journey. What happened? You're going back home. If where you're going is important. Are you helping me? You know, as long as it takes, I don't like the delay. I hate delays. Yes, and not you, me. I don't like it. I hate lines. Amen. I like to get on the highway and smooth sailing. Hello. Amen. Get to where I'm going. Amen. Without any problem. But it's not going to work that way. Sometimes you might get away. But not all the time. Amen. So you've got to be patient. Amen. You have to have some long suffering. Come on. You have to become tolerant. Come on somebody. Because what you think was is not going to work that way. And you understand where you're going. You can't take no exits. Not the one you want to. And can I help you tonight? They're not going to clear the lane just for you. <laughs> I don't even put on it, I'm God's child. I don't care what blood you plead. Hello? Pray if you want. Maybe this one time you're going to pray for a while. <laughs> All right. You won't pray. So I'm going to put something in your way. You're going to spend some time with me in prayer. <laughs> Hello. So regardless of what you think and what you want, it's not going to work that way. There's some twists. There's some turns. There's some getting off and getting back on. Hello, so there's some turning around. Come on, somebody. Worse if you're going to a place that you don't know. Lord Jesus, sitting on pins and needles. You've never been there. You've never been there. Hello? There are places you are able to get off and you can you know, navigate yourself and get back and keep on. Well, some place you don't know. So if you go, trust the stuff that you put up. Your GPS and trust the direction. And sometimes you don't take your local. I mean, don't take your highway. Take your local. Because it saw some stuff that you didn't see. Come on now. And you're way rerouted. Hello. And you're told this is the fastest route. But you never read that yet. To get from point A to point B. But because you left home. To get to that particular place. You're going to stick it out. Tell somebody you got to learn. To stick it out. Tell them no time to jump ship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Although the, the ship is being tossed. Although the wind is blowing. If you stay on board, not a soul will be lost. 
Not one. Worse when you, when you can't explain what's going on. Oh, Jesus. I said, when you can't explain what's going on, everything just looks confusing. Amen. And worse, you know, you're doing the best you know how to serve the Lord. And you know, we're never ever expecting no roadblocks or nothing. That, you know I'm talking, I'm talking about. Because we believe we're serving God so good, none of these things are supposed to happen. But God know we need a little roadblock. God know we need a little flat tire. Hello! In order to develop you the way I want to, I've got to allow these things to come your way. For your own development. For your growth. Hello, somebody. It says that a one-way street. It's not a one-way street. There are going to be some things that comes at you. That you have no answer for it. Lord, help me. So I have to drop on my knees and say, Lord, help me. And he's either going to take you through it. Or he's going to fix it. But whatever, but the way you choose to do it, God, give me patience. Help me to learn to hold on to your changing hand. And not to try to force this thing. Then sometimes we try to force it. Because we think we know better. We know what's best. And it should not, this should never have happened. Says who? Why not? Why not? Should be somebody else. Oh, God, I serve you too good. Everything at church I participate. Everything you ask me for, I give. So, Lord, that shouldn't come my way. Oh, yeah? Not so. He knows the way that I take. Is that what? Job, Lord, God, help me. That's what Job said. I look to my left. I look to my right. I couldn't find him. I knew he was. I looked, but I couldn't find him. But I said, I said, he knows the way that I He knows where I am Hallelujah. on this journey. But when he gets through with me, Hallelujah. glory, Hallelujah. I shall come forth. As pure. It don't look that way, but guess what? That's what's going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There may be some bumps. Come on, somebody. Maybe some, some potholes. But it will not destroy me. I have to take some detour. But God, just in case, give me patience, Lord. I've got to survive this. I've got to go through this. Lord, I don't know how long, but God, help me tonight. The Lord to work your purpose out in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm being tempted to become discouraged. But God, I will not be discouraged. I'm going to hold to your unchanging hand. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. I said that we will not understand everything. But into some life. Some rain. Must fall. That's a songwriter. Hallelujah. That is just walk on by faith. Brother said Monday by faith. On Tuesday by faith. Hello somebody. Let Jesus fix it for you. He knows what to do. He's able to take you down the road. Walk on by faith. Each day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It takes all of this for me to grow. Thank you, God. Amen. It takes all of this that's happening in my life for me to develop the way that you want me to. But God, you're permitted, but it will not destroy me. I will survive this. Tell somebody, I will survive this. Tell them, I will, I will go. I'm going through this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I get out on the other end, I have a testimony. I'm going to testify of where he brought me from. How he brought me through. Too many dangers, toils, and snakes. Come on now. How about they come? 
But I can testify, it's grace that brought me safe this way. And his grace, glory, will see me through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God help me when I'm going to, to still keep holding on. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Spiritual growth, I'm going to end on this, can be described in two different ways. Vertical growth and horizontal growth. Spiritual growth can be described in two different ways. Vertical growth and horizontal growth. Vertical. That's right. In earth and heaven, you and God, us and God, horizontal, me and you, you and me, this way and this way is necessary. Hello, somebody. And each one must be developed. Are we not going to choose which one? There's not multiple choices now. Choose one. No. One up. You and God. And number two, you and I. Hello. So tell somebody, I don't care you try. <laughs> tell them again, I don't care you try. You cannot get rid of me. Ah. Woo. Oh, Lord. It's about time you drop on your knees and start to pray right now. <laughs> what a declaration. 365 days. 12 months. Yeah, 52 weeks. Hello? <laughs> and what I'm saying to you, I have to say to myself too. I don't care where I try. I can't get rid of you. Hello? I'm stuck. I can do like other pastors doing. They did, they did, somebody did research and said, many pastors are walking out of the pulpit now. Yeah. That's right. Because they can't, they can't take it no more. They're walking out of the pulpit. That too, much, too much is being demanded of them. But tell somebody, point this way. <laughs> tell them, he's going nowhere. <laughs> Lord Jesus, and I'm smiling too. Going nowhere. And it's not because it's easy. It's not because it's enjoyable every day. And some days it's not. But I'm going nowhere. I've got to complete my development. I've got to finish my growth. So I've got to learn to stick it out. God bless you tonight, saints. God bless you. God bless all of you. Amen. I trust tonight you were blessed. You that joined us with the internet, amen, wherever you are tonight. I hope that something was said that ministered to you and you're being helped tonight by the word that was dispensed in this house. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Give God a praise, everybody. I look forward.